Hey guys, Gnomish Enforcer here with another episode of the Gnomish Mafia's Guide for Blood and Profit. Uh, we're going to show you how to get the Ashina Esoteric Text, which will give you the, the definitely OP Ichimanji um, combat art. It, it's Man, Ichimanji is, is what's up. Uh, Ichimanji double is, is double OP. Uh, so we're here at the Ashina Castle Gate, and uh, it's going to take us a couple of minutes. I'm going to walk you guys through how to get, uh, get the whole thing. Uh, you have to beat uh, the horse boss, uh, Gyobu, first. And then, once those fog walls are lifted, we're going to go up here. And um, you definitely want to go over here um, uh, and talk to this guy. Uh, this vendor is going to have some good loot for you. Uh, so I'm going to come back with some more cash, and we're going to get the, the gourd seed, and this is another opportunity to get those firecrackers. Uh, and this guy also sells more coin purses. Uh, so definitely go back there and uh, get that gourd seed. Those are in short supply. Uh, so then we're going to go around the front, and we're going to talk to this guy. We're going to drive through his dialogue text. This is uh, Ishin. We'll, we'll deal with him later, actually. I believe he's, he's one of our bosses. So he's going to give you a rat description item, and he's charged you with uh, killing rats. Uh, so by rats, he means the spies that are hanging out uh, um, near here. So we're going to go knock them out, but I'm going to show you where... There's a secret prayer bead since we're in the area. We're going to go upstairs and look for a grapple point. Grapple up there. Walk over here. And we want to jump up there and then ledge grab. I was a little off. There we go. And here is a free prayer bead. Hidden up in the ceiling. I love how this game rewards for exploring. So pick up your free prayer bead. And we are going to jump down and go hunt a couple rats. Come on. Get down. There we go. There we go. See this guy drop some purple ninjas. He means business. Those purple ninjas are... are, are, are no joke. They are no joke. Uh, so, uh, to make rat killing easy, to make rat killing easy, uh, we're going to get our loaded axe uh, because they wear these hats that are used uh, like shields, and that um, that axe will bust those shields wide open. So, you got to go get that quest for mission first, uh, or this will not work. But the rats are, are right here. They're really close. Uh, we're going to go kill this guy. And these guys use poison. And uh, they're, they're no joke for combat. So I recommend getting a stealth kill uh, on two of them if we can. Uh, having uh, suppressed presence definitely helps. Gonna get a stealth kill on this guy. If you listen to them, they'll tell you that they're uh, one of the guys they're hunting. The Blackfoot Badger is um, actually. He sees us. He sees us. I'm gonna let that go away. And we're actually gonna jump down here. Oh, I thought that was a ledge we could grab on. My bad. Okay. Uh, then we're just going to crouch and stealth lock and try to get a... Oh, I missed it. So, this is why we bring the axe. This is why we bring the axe. I hit the guy behind him. There we go. I'm just going to wait for him to do something we can punish. Get some black gunpowder. Vacuum up this loot. Pick up that item. And those are the rats. Those spies are, uh, or those guys are, uh, considered spies. And now we're going to run back across. 
and talk to Ishan again. Their bodies tossed skyward like ragdolls thrown into the air by the late great Andre the Giant. I don't know. They appeared to be weightless, hitting zero G like the fearless crew of a forgotten Apollo mission, whose only objective was to obtain a beef and cheddar classic and return home to Kathleen Quinlan safe before sundown. I don't know. So the Ashina esoteric texts will now unlock. Uh, we're going to go back to the idol real quick. It's going to unlock a new combat. Uh, well, not a combat art, a, a whole skill tree of combat stuff. Uh, one of the best skills in the game, Ichimaji Double, uh, is great. Uh, it's nearly inter uh, uninterruptible, uh, so you're almost always going to power through. And um, now we can see it's unlocked here. Uh, and it gives you posture back. It, it actually gives you posture back every time you pull this move off. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is there's a slight delay uh, for it to charge up. Uh, so uh, you're going to throw some points into that. Come on. Yep, yep. We're going to get that. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and get Descending Carp. Uh, all of the, the skills in this tree are, are really good. Uh, so definitely worth it. There's our Ichimaji double. So we'll get some more points and we'll unlock that. Um, so that's how you get uh, one of the best uh, combat arts in the game. Uh, let me show you guys what it looks like, just in case you've never seen it. So we're going to go back out. Uh, and that's the tutorial for the combat arts. But basically, now that we've got a combat art, uh, this is unlocked. And we're going to select that. And uh, you um, use left bumper, right bumper together. And it's going to do this um, slice. Uh, the slice actually has a little bit more range than your sword. Um, but when you upgrade the ability to get the double, you can do that twice in a row. So um, uh, that's really cool. And it costs uh, no, uh, uh, no spirit totems uh, or spirit emblems uh, to use. So um, that's how you get uh, one of the coolest combat arts in the game. Uh, this is Jedi Chronic. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys learned something uh, and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think uh, What's your favorite combat art? Uh, I, I'm my absolute favorite combat art is the floating passage uh, that you buy from the uh, The carp scale vendor uh, that I feel like that's really one of the best uh, in the game uh, But it does not give you back posture like Ichimachi double does. There's the money Lebowski Where's the money Lebowski? Here's the fucking money, shithead! Oh, it's, uh, oh, oh, it's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Oh.